Hurricane season officially begins. Severe weather continues to pummel the country's midsection. Right now, Texas and Oklahoma are recovering from the severe storms that hit last week, killing at least 31 people in both states. This morning, the American Red Cross is still on the ground there. And joining us now live from Houston is uh, President and CEO Gail McGovern. Gail, good morning to you. Uh, tell us what's the latest on the ground where you are right now. Good morning, Larry. I'm in Houston, and as you can see behind me, uh, this neighborhood was hit badly by these floods. In fact, I'm right in front of the house of the chapter executive from Houston for the American Red Cross, and he is still helping his neighbors, and he really embodies what the Red Cross is all about. Uh, we have hundreds of volunteers from across the country that are here in Texas. We've stood up 37 shelters. We are handing out food. Um, we are uh, providing relief items. We've served 40,000 meals and snacks already. And we're also providing emotional support to help people get back on their feet during these unbelievably trying times. Gail, I'm just curious. Uh, do you have enough manpower and, and funding to handle all of these uh, catastrophic, catastrophic events? Well, we have lots of volunteers that are willing to pack up all of their uh, things and leave their friends and family and help out complete strangers, but we can always use more volunteers, and we really could use the help of the American public in terms of financial donations. Uh, every single gift is appreciated, regardless of its size. You can go on redcross.org to make a a donation and everything we do is because of the generosity of the American public so not only will help us in Texas and in Oklahoma but will help us respond to the 70,000 disasters that we respond to every year okay so redcross.org is where people can go to uh, join in and uh, also help to donate money uh, Gail McGovern thank you so much for all that you do and your organization and um, please join us again later for an update when you can Thank you, Larry. I appreciate it.